No greater compliment as a saxophone player can you be paid that your tone is so beautiful that it moves people to such great emotion. Welcome to today's vlog. Today, day eight of our saxophone advent calendar. By the way, apologies for the very smart dress today. I am going for quite a quite a nice lunch at a Pall Mall gentleman's club, and they have a very strict dress code. So I'll take you there later if I can. Um, but anyway, on with today's saxophone player. Today's saxophone player, sadly, is another one that's no longer with us, but. A huge, huge influence again on so many of the great saxophone players that we may class in our top five. Uh, this guy was the lead alto player with G. Ellington's band for, for a number of years, and once he got the chair in 1946, he refused to play the soprano saxophone, which was the instrument that he started with. I am, of course, talking about the great Johnny Hodges, or as his nickname was, a Rabbit. Various different reasons why he got that nickname. Some people think it's because he could outrun truant officers, other people think it's because uh, the way he was eating eating his um, lettuce sandwiches, but um, I think it was Johnny Griffin who said that he, he looked at, called him rabbit because he basically just stood there motionless, uh, sorry, expressionless whilst playing this most beautiful music. Johnny Hodges was born July 1907 in Cambridge, Massachusetts, not my Cambridge, the other Cambridge in the United States, and he joined Duke Ellington's band in 1928. He wasn't lead alto at first, he didn't really get that chair until uh, the incumbent had left and he took over in 1946. He also led a number of his own groups, including a big band that had John Coltrane in it and he just for me I knew about Johnny Hodges obviously through a little bit of G Callington I mean Prelude to a Kiss I think is one of the most beautiful pieces of music ever written as a jazz ballad but Coltrane was majorly into Johnny Hodges and that's what kind of sparked my interest when I was doing a lot of my early research into Coltrane why you know why was John Coltrane into Johnny Hodges so much and maybe you'll get that through the playlist that we're looking at today now when both Benny Goodman the clarinetist and Charlie Parker who was probably the greatest alto saxophone player that's ever lifted the instrument up to his lips say that you're the best one they've ever heard you know you're onto something now you might find that some of the Johnny Hodges music is a little bit outside of your taste, your tastes have moved on, on in terms of his vibrato, in terms of his lip bends. To be honest with you, the first time I heard them I thought they were a bit corny, but they are of their time and that's that's why they work. I want to finish this little skit about Johnny Hodges because I don't know how long the rest because today is a majorly busy day for me and hopefully you'll be able to come with me for the rest of it. But I want to read this quote that G. Kellington read uh, at Johnny Hodges' funeral in 1970. G. Kellington said, never the world's most animated showman but a tone so beautiful, it brought tears to your eyes. This was Johnny Hodges. This is Johnny Hodges. No greater compliment as a saxophone player can you be paid that your tone is so beautiful that it moves people to such great emotion. So check out the Johnny Hodges playlist and um, come with me to London. I've got my students supporting uh, the main act at Saffron Hall tonight. And so, but I've got to play alto with my students because the trumpet player's not, well, we've got a depth trumpet player in. I just I may not need to play alto, I hope I will, but I've got to take it with me, which is a real pain because it's got to kind of stay in the car all day. Just to prove I've got this damn thing down to a T, I waited till exactly 9.30 before putting my money into the parking machine. It did save me £4.20 though. I mean, I wasn't going to pay 15 minutes of parking. Although I could have got a slightly earlier train, but that's okay. This whole train goes direct as well. So I'm getting the train a few stops further down from where I normally get on, near my house. So that because I can park the car here, go to this lunch in London, come back, jump in the car, go to the gig, and then get home from the gig, which was primarily because um, I can get a lift from here to the venue, but I couldn't get a lift from the venue home. So. This is Audley End.
So we've basically been doing lots and lots of really intense work with Animojis. That's basically been the whole lunch, Animojis. So this is a very, very nice club. This is the RAC club. So they it. Well, what I had to do was just basically delete the messages I already had and then send a new one. Yeah, Santa. I want a lot of, lot, a lot of presents. Can I have lots of diamonds, lots of chocolates? Dear Santa, I would really, really, really <laughs> love an iPhone 10 for Christmas because Tony's is... It's a really lovely lunch, but I'm basically only in the office of two things. One, I found the gimbal, which is a real, a real save. And two, my iPhone needs charging. So literally, once I get some more charge on my iPhone, I'm out of here. I'm also getting a little bit of work done for these jazz carols that's coming up, so I'm not totally wasting the time. station car park that train journey reminded me why I don't like going to London too often I mean there were clearly not enough carriages everyone was squeezed in most people were stood the chairs were kind of only made oh it's just horrible eh? it's like being squeezed in like a sheep in tra bad transport okay I'm gonna head off to the gig now I have got I'm really quite pleased actually, I've got 40 minutes before I need to be there so loads of time that's an aeroplane <laughs> see you in a minute Fantastic evening tonight. We had Simon Brown's Beyond Cantaloupe with Kevin Flanagan, who's one of my favourite saxophone players in the Cambridge area. Fantastic gig. I am ready for home. It's been a long day. Check out those Johnny Hodges playlists. Make sure you check out yesterday's vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. I am going to get home to bed and come back here in about 13 hours. It's crazy. See you later. In fact, 11 hours. See you later. Bye bye.